What was once traditionally used to add sour flavour to meals, Garcinia Kombucha has become a wildly popular weight loss supplement. But how effective is it? That's the topic of this video. Garcinia Kombucha is a tropical fruit also known as Malabar Tamarind. The skin contains a large amount of hydroxycytric acid, which is the biologically active substance thought to be responsible for its effects. The supplement extract is taken from the skin after it has been dehydrated. Manufacturers primarily claim it helps by blocking the fat-producing enzyme citrate lyase. This makes it harder for the body to produce fat. Theoretically, it may also reduce food craving. But does it actually work when put to the test? Fortunately, Garcinia Cambogia has been tested many times in humans. The best evidence available is a review of nine studies that specifically looked at its effects on weight loss. These were all randomized controlled trials, which compared Garcinia Cambogia against placebo or dummy pills. The graph shows the weight loss results from these nine human studies. The blue bars represent the Garcinia Cambogia group. The orange bars represent placebo groups. As you can see, some studies didn't find any difference, but quite a few studies showed significantly greater weight loss in the Garcinia Cambogia groups. The average weight loss caused by Garcinia Cambogia was only two pounds or 0.88 kilos greater than the placebo groups. But many of the studies were small, they had a number of design flaws and were short in duration, typically a maximum of 12 weeks. Interestingly, the single largest study with 135 participants found no effects of Garcinia Cambogia supplementation. So both groups, uh, the placebo and the supplement group, lost the same amount of weight. So if it does really work for weight loss, then the effect is fairly small, uh, unreliable, and only lasts for a very short period of time. On the positive side, a 2012 review of the safety of Garcinia Cambogia did not find any serious side effects. However, people who take it are about twice as likely to experience digestive problems. In any case, you should consult with a doctor before taking it if you have a medical condition or are taking any medications. Also avoid taking it if you are pregnant or breastfeeding. The reality is that this supplement, at best, is going to help you lose an additional two pounds or almost one kilo uh, after 12 weeks. So it's pretty underwhelming when you consider just how much it's going to cost you for that period of time. But is it really that surprising? As with most weight loss supplements, uh, it's not going to be particularly effective on its own. You're still going to have to consistently eat healthy, exercise more, and sleep better, and do that for the long term. Because short term diets and pills will only give you short term results. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, you can press the big red button below the video to subscribe to the Authority Nutrition YouTube channel, and then you can stay in the loop whenever we release new videos.